Hello and welcome to another Skypix tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to configure the Skylark Automatic Antenna Tracker Convert Module to understand data received from a Ublox 6M GPS module that's typically used with uh, APM 2.5 and 2.6 flight controllers. The first thing we're going to want to do is follow this link, download it, save it to our computers as this is the firmware that we're going to update the convert module with. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to make a lead to connect our computers to the convert modules. Uh, if you buy one of these TTL connectors from the internet, it's £1.86, I got mine from eBay. Uh, the alternative is to buy the one from Skylark, but uh, generally speaking they're more expensive and you have to wait I don't know, perhaps four or five, even six weeks for it to turn up. So now that we've got our USB to TTL USB connector, if you take one of the cables for the uh, convert module and just sort of tin back two or three mil on the end of them, solder the red wire to the five volt, the black wire to the ground, the yellow wire to the RX and the white wire to the TX and connect it to your PC. Hopefully you've already downloaded your drivers for it uh, and we should be able to then communicate with our um, module. So once all that's done, the port on the convert module that we need to connect to is the left hand connector as you're looking at the unit with both plugs facing upwards and the word Skylark orientated correctly at the top. Okay, now we need to go to the Skylark FPV website for the configuration tool. And under the heading support, we'll find all sorts of different bits of firmware, but this is the one that we're interested in. Okay, so once the configuration tool is downloaded, open it up and then we'll search for our TTL device on a COM port at the top and then we'll click connect. Select the upgrade box. And now we're going to browse for and select the piece of firmware that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. And now we'll click upgrade to update the firmware in the AAT module. It's worth mentioning that at this point that I've had to do this with the Windows XP operating system because I tried it with Vista and I had no hope with it. I just couldn't get it to upload the information whatsoever. I could get it to recognize a COM port and the AAT software could see the COM port and the serial adapter but physically wouldn't update the firmware. Another thing to mention is that I had to click the upgrade button four or five times in order for the process to start the TTL connector has a little LED light on it that demonstrates when it's transferring uh, information or, or data. After slightly losing my temper with it the first couple of times, I just went for some rapid clicks and, and it did actually just sort of kick it off. It started to work and uh, the next screen that you'll see in a second uh, demonstrated that as it went through an update process. This is the screen that we will see after we've done a successful firmware upgrade. As you can see on the bottom left hand side, it does say firmware successfully upgraded. Interestingly, it does say turning application process. Well, it stayed like that for five or six minutes and didn't actually progress to anything else. So as far as I'm concerned, it has done uh, the upgrade process quite successfully. So then, of course, I just disconnected the COM port and then disconnected the AAT from the USB lead. And finally, after a successful firmware upgrade, I reinstalled the AAT module back into my APM setup, uh, powered it up, uh, waited a couple of seconds, long sort of LED flashes to start with. Once it acquired uh, the amount of satellites that it you know, needs for a home fix, it flashed rapidly like it did with my earlier flight controller. Uh, so going into Mission Planner and APM, that's the picture at the top of the screen. You can clearly see the outline of my house and the little picture of the aeroplane displaying the position through APM. Now the tablet that's on the bottom part of the picture isn't connected to the internet but also shows the same positioning as the APM in the top picture. Now the only way that that tablet can get a location is via the Bluetooth app from my antenna tracking uh, station itself being transmitted along the audio channel and the only way that can happen is if the AAT module is correctly understanding and interpreting the information it's being fed from the GPS module. So I hope this video has 
helped people who have been in a similar situation to me where there's there's very limited information on the internet and having figured out how to do it for myself I thought only share, only fair to sort of share that um, if there are any questions or there's something that's not quite clear in my video please do leave a comment below for me and I will get back to you and I will help you with that um, I will also leave a link for the firmware for the language converter module uh, in the description below uh, and just sort of like, like a brief summary of, of exactly what we just covered um, and like I said if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if there's anything I can help you with please don't hesitate to contact me thanks for watching